mandatory rules against Enugu Rangers International, and it doesn't come bigger than this on the local scene in Nigeria. The weatherman says it's 34 degrees, very hot afternoon here in the city of Wari. Wari is the oil city, very rich, and of course, uh, this is a city where Wari rules have held sway for many years as a dominant team. This is not the capital of Delta State as Sabah is, but Wari is the other uh, commercial city. And of course, they're giving everything today. Beautiful stadium, and of course, the players making their match onto the theater. Uh, the pitch itself, Wari Wolves are clad in uh, blue and a patch of yellow. Fly Rangers International in their traditional red. Uh, Cyril Oriaco is the captain of the side. And of course, uh, this man, Nigerian International, uh, Zubike Gwekwe, is the captain of Wari Wolves. They didn't quite start the season with the team, but since he came on, he has come to steady the ship. Ugonao Zachuku scored a beautiful goal for Nigeria at Chan, and it's Rangers a main man. And of course, the traditional handshake of players, these two teams, no new customers to each side. But on this top, in the past five years, it's been Warri Wolves winning four of the five matches played. Rangers only got a draw here way back in 2010. And that's actually the only point they have gotten here in the past five years and ten meetings of the two sides. Rangers have been able to pick one win at home in Enugu. And as a 3-0, they got over Warri Wolves. And that was in 2009. Let's check out the players that will be doing battle for the two sides here today. First, for the home side, Warri Wolves, Daniel Akpei. He wasn't a starter, but uh, quickly made changes. And the uh, coach made changes. And Daniel Akpei is uh, starting and of course we have uh, just a couple of changes uh, from the team that battled uh, Nimbus City at midweek uh, and you can watch out for that man in just number 20 Bolaho Salami, Nigerian international, uh, did it for Nigeria at Chan and of course uh, all eyes will be on him, the team's a top scorer with three goals uh, so far this season and uh, what a scorcher he scored at the midweek against Nimbus City uh, King Soya Wale is the center referee for today overseeing this match to be assisted uh, by these two men, Anthony Bileka, uh, the, ad the admin officer uh, from Abuja, as well as uh, Idou Adekboju, the studio artist from Abuja. Uh, by the way, Wale at King Soya, the center referee, is a pedologist, the man that deals with soil. And Rangers International, Jonah Usman is there. And of course, Mecca Eze has got a beautiful goal when they played Kano Pilaza is there today. And he must be looking out for a certain player, Ugunna Uzrika came back, went to Inba, assisted uh, the SY coach. And of course, Man Sane, you're seeing there, Usman Sane. The Senegalese from Sharks, they got him. Just playing the game after being suspended, he's been brought back into the side. And of course, he was suspended for some funny reasons. Uh, training ground uh, uh, disrespect of the Wobodo. His uh, passes today have not been quite on target. Free kick to Warrior Wolves. And make a Rangers torching here. Eze gets to Wobodo. Wobodo. Igo Dalo offside. Neil. Here comes Odiche. Gets uh, his hand, Yimope. Yimope crosses into the box. It's headed out. Nice play there from the Rangers man. Uh, can uh, Igodalo get something out of this one? Igodalo still moving, but decides to go back. Uzen touches the ball. Fantastic. Eze goes back to Pape Usman Sane. Ejikel Zenyi, oh, beautiful touch, passes, but he cannot just decode it. Pinoyo is waiting. Was it turning around around for? Rangers still have possession. Nice play from uh, Pinoyo. Has the ball now. What's Pinoyo? Eze. Uzenyi crosses. Onside, no. And referee on the wrong man. Emekeze, Dinuyo, Pape, Eze. We've got to see that of Rangers International. Very slow start to the second half. Yeah, slow start. Uh, perhaps acting on the instructions given to them by their coaches. In all of this, we did say Rangers have gone 21 matches without an away win. And from what we've seen so far, 
Uh, it might just be 20 people. Go to Eze for Rangers. The red shirts on the move. Eze goes back to Pape. Pape is mad. Go to waiting. Eze roving everywhere. Justice. All Rangers to Eze. Nice passage of play from Rangers International. Sagona. And who's getting it? A nice clearance from Warri Wolves. Plus one the way it is. The Rangers piling up the pressure again on Warri Wolves. A nice play. Order. Order's cross was a touch there. To Riaku. Riaku to Uzochuku. Uzochuku to Eze. Eze to Justice. Eze gets the return. Gives the ball away. Free kick against the tired and almost every other player. I've not seen it to the net. In this case, Wari Wolves couldn't increase the tally. And Mecca Eze gives the ball away. Bolao Salama takes it away. Pape and Salami is failed. It's free kick. No doubting Bolao's talent. It's just his clear way through. In that case, he was a fringe of one. Ugun Nauzachuku perhaps shouldn't have let that ball run. I bet his Rangers with the ball. Now a great pass. And onside. This should be the opening goal. And a tackle from behind. The yeah, Ndukwe again. He looks very fragile. And Ejike Uzenye is running down the line there. Uzenye allows the ball to be towed into. That's experience for you. <laughs> Every touch by the Chan most valuable player is greeted with uh, a chorus of applause here. When you look at him, you wouldn't think uh, him dangerous, but he is extremely dangerous. Justice Chinedu. And a great shot, and a great goal, an unbelievable strike there from way out, about 35 yards. And what a way to announce we've come into the season. It's uh, Emeka Eze, the youngster who really blasted that. It was a cannon of a shot, and absolutely nothing a fellow guy could do about it. <laughs> absolutely nothing for it. That was an absolute rocket. 35 yards, make that. Emeka Eze, he's a local boy from uh, FC Inter. He has really set the fans here on their feet. You can see he really took hold of that. Very, very wise uh, decision to play the ball back outside uh, the penalty box. And look at the cover on that, to squeeze it into that uh, far corner behind a fellow guy. Fantastic finish from, uh, well, Mekeze. He will relish that for a long time. And to the rescue is uh, Chinedu Justice. And Mekeze, a great pass, and a great touch, and a great goal. Oh, what a goal from Chris Osas. That was absolute magic. That was magnificent. He did it with consummate ease. And what a sumptuous goal to put Rangers into the lead going into the halftime. What a game we are witnessing here at the Nazi Azikiwe Stadium. Really living up to the billing. That was a classy, classy play. Not just by Osasa, who got the goal uh, just uh, before the halftime break. But look at the build up. Very good pass. He simply went inside his man and swept that. Uh, shot into the roof of the net the first control was class and the finish wonderful to see nothing again a fellow guy could do with Harupila's drawing level and Rangers nicking the leader very late on actually in added time and uh, crunchy Etim Eze Well, lashed away Eze again. There he is. He's young. He's full of running. He's full of energy. Eji Kuzeni, the man there, is a dangerous proposition for Kano Pilas. Eji Kuzeni decides to go for goal. And uh, a fellow guy. In why they are creating the chances, because uh, we've got just about uh, 70 minutes left in this game, and it's still the one goal in it between these two sides. That should be a free kick to Rangers International. A goal kick it is actually. And Mecca is involved. Sort of an hour to go here at the Nandi Azikiwe Stadium. It's Rangers 2, Pillars 1. And uh, Rangers looking like they are determined to. And that man, again, Emeka is it. His passes, that's another of the great passes. Obina, 
uh, Obiozo looking forward and he allows that defense. Video, he came over from uh,